Hello everyone, this is DA from Yank Academy and today this video is about the proof of the density theorem. So let's start with the statement. The density theorem states that there is always a rational number between two real numbers. This is the claim of the density theorem and the formal statement of the theorem is if x and y are the two real numbers and x is less than y then by the claim of the by the claim of the density theorem there exists a rational number r such that r is in between x and y so this is the fundament of the density theorem so let's start the proof so let's assume that that x is a positive number and we are looking for two positive numbers, for, for two positive real numbers in which there is a rational number. This is a very general uh, concept about taking that x is, that is positive because if x is negative in, in general, then we can make it positive by multiplying it with negative sign. So that is why there is a, that's why there is the claim or the generality about this sign x that x is positive. So we are assuming x that is positive and now we will continue the proof. As that was in the given statement that x is less than y, so if x is greater than 0, then we can write it as y minus x is eventually greater than 0. So now, it follows from a very important thing extracted from the Archimedean property, and that is consider epsilon as y minus x. So there must be a corresponding n to that y minus x such that 0 is less than 1 minus n is less than y minus x. So we have this side. Now if we are going to manipulate this side, then we have this 1 is less than n y minus n x and this can also be written as then we have this thing here 1 plus n x is less than n y. Now there is also an extraction of the Archimedean property and the statement of that is if we have a positive real number then there exists a natural number corresponding to that real number such that this number, this natural number, minus 1 is less than or equal to that real number that is, min that is less than or equal to this natural number. So this is also an extraction from the Archimedean property that we will use here uh, for 1 plus nx and ny. In place of x here we will use nx why? Because we have a uh, assertion about x that is greater than 0 and n that is a natural number, so nx is also positive. So we will write that this, if, if we imply from here, if nx is greater than 0, then we can find the natural number and we will name the natural number as, as n1 here. So n1 belongs to n such that n1 minus 1 is less than or equal to n times x, that is less than or equal to n1. So this is the assertion, the very important assertion of the Archimedean property and that is used here. So from this side we can write that n1 is less than nx plus 1. So here nx plus 1 is greater than and equal to n1 and here nx plus 1 is less than from ny. So let's combine it. From this side we have n1 is n1 is less than nx plus 1 and from that above 1 plus nx is less than ny so this is less than ny. Now and we have this nx that is less than n1 and that is less than ny. So this is now the extraction from the above things. So by dividing whole this side by n this is this is n n so this is x is less than n1 by n, that is less than y, so this is where n1 is also a natural number, n is also a natural number, so we can write it as let this is equal to r that n1 by n and that is a rational number. So this is the rational number that is in between x and y. And we approve this density theorem by using the two extraction or the two corollaries from the Archimedean property and by using the relation of how we can relate any arbitrary number with the natural number also by the general concept of x taking taking the x positive and by using the given information that if we have two natural numbers or two real numbers then there must exist a rational number in between the two real numbers so this is for now looking for most of the videos then you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye